Paul's Planet. Presents. Monkey's Majesty. Oh yeah, monkeys. One of the planet's most entertainingly clever creatures. These type of monkeys are known as the white-faced capuchin, and they receive their name by the Capuchin Order's Roman Catholic friars due to the resemblance of their cowls worn atop of their heads. Hey, hey, welcome back to Paul's Planet. A study performed at Yale University showed that capuchin monkeys would sell their monkey bodies sexually for tokens. And they would use these tokens to purchase grapes from scientists. So humans and monkeys aren't so different after all. The desire and passion for grapes. Capuchin monkeys are primarily found in Central and South America and live in groups comprising of 10 to 40 individuals. Each group is dominated by one alpha male and one alpha female. The group on average is made up of 75% lady monkeys. Male monkeys will often leave the group every four years. Italian coffee maker during to Costa Rica to brew the perfect beverage. Using espresso beans grown in volcanic ash mixed with steamed breast milk from a monkey that created a natural foam on top. The name of this beverage? The cappuccino. So next time you're at Starbucks, order your cappuccino with extra monkey milk. Capuchin monkeys are omnivores, so they eat both plants and animals. Most of their diet consists of fruits, plants, seeds, and insects. Using their intelligence, they will use sticks and stones to open shells, nuts, and clams. The very first transaction in the planet's history occurred between two monkeys. The terms of the deal? Two bananas for one fancy dance. This resulted in the common practice known as monkey business. Monkeys spend most of their time in treetops swinging branch to branch in search of food. They will also sleep in the trees at nighttime since they are diurnal mammals. Living life in the trees protects them from predators such as jaguars, pumas, hawks, and eagles. The lifespan of the monkey is 15 to 25 years in the wild, and up to 45 years in captivity. Due to their high intelligence, the capuchin is often used for non-harmful experiments in laboratories and kept as exotic pets being used as street performers. Out of all the monkey street performers, one stood tall above the rest. Many people from all over the world would come and present objects to this monkey that would use its powerful jaws to crunch through. The name of this monkey? Capuchin Crunch.
Although often captured to be sold as pets or captured by humans and other predators for their meat, the capuchin is not considered an endangered species and is classified as least concern from a conservation standpoint. The monkeys can simply adapt to deforestation by living in different types of forests and possess high foraging skills. Swing freely, capuchin monkey, from treetop to treetop in your jungle palace. This majesty belongs to you. Thank you for visiting Paul's Planet, and remember, Paul's Planet is your planet too. Hey, hey! I did that too early. Too early. I gotta jump in first. Okay. Yeah. An Italian coffee maker journeyed to Costa Rica to brew the perfect beverage. The <laughs> Beverage. Beverage. <laughs> a perfect beverage. A perfect beverage. <laughs> <laughs> Here you locals. <laughs> yeah. I'm searching for the perfect beverage. <laughs> Using uh, espresso beans grown in volcanic ash mixed with steamed milk from a mm, steamed breast milk. Steamed steam bre milk from a breast monkey. <laughs> from a breast monkey. <laughs> what a nightmare. <laughs> a nightmare creature that. I have a weird image in my head about the press monkey now. What are you, a steam? <laughs> a steam? <laughs> steam press monkey? <laughs> Alright. Uh, espresso beans grown in volcanic ash mixed with steamed breast monkey steam steam breast. <laughs> steam breast. Steam breast monkeys. Stop saying that, man. Terrifying! Now I've got it in my head what that would look like! <laughs> oh man. Okay. Steam monkey. Steam. I use like these three words in every order except for the right one. <laughs> There's only uh, three variations. It's the law of averaging. <laughs> this is the one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> steam breast. Not steam. No! How about steam breast milk? Steam breast milk. Monkey. Steam breast milk from a monkey. <coughs> yeah. What was that? Is that a fancy? A fancy dance. Damn. Alright. 